There's my hit nor pike, hit, turn. There's my finger lock. There's my hit again. There's my control. Ah! We were talking street, right? All right. Does finger locks work? I don't know. You be the judge, okay? I've heard people say, ah, don't work. Or I'll never give you my fingers. That's another thing that's usually said. I'll never give you my fingers. And my thing is, don't. Because what we're doing is that he's jabbing, he's crossing, he's hooking. He's jab, he's crossing, he's, he's hooking. Am I understanding that I'm understanding how to cover? Didn't I just take that out of a fight? Look at my body. Fulcrum, lever, my uppercut's gonna be the base. You see how he went in there? He's locked here. Okay? So if he's up here, he can't kick, he can't do anything. He's doing ballet right now. So when he goes up on his toes, I just lift. Do you see it? It has to make sense. Come, 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 come. Ah. There we are. Again. I'm just saying. Hello, my name is James Hunden, also known as Professor Hunden. I'm here to address the question that if finger locks actually work in a fighting situation. And so what I'm gonna do today is go through a couple of drills and a couple of open uh, sessions here to show that it can work if you understand the sensitivity behind it and the structure behind it if it works and when to make it work, okay? One of the things you never do, you don't grab at the fingers. You don't snatch for the fingers in the air. So a lot of people have that concept that, okay, in order for me to get a finger lock, I'm, I'm gonna grab it and I'm gonna take it. And that's the wrong approach. That's the wrong way to look at it. So what I'm gonna do here is use a little uh, fundamental Ji uh, uh, Kune Do trapping exercise to, to show how we can get in there and how it can work. All right, Tim, can I use your minute, please? So what I'm gonna do, uh, just going off the structure of starting to move. Okay, as I said, this is just a fundamental drill coming from uh, JKD, um, bridging, how to bridge to go in the field. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna pock Tim, which means to slap. And what the first thing I'm gonna do is throw a backhand at his face, which is gonna make Tim cross center line. Again, I'm gonna pock and backhand. Again, I'm gonna pock and backhand. I'm gonna pock and backhand. The sec second thing behind that, as I pock and backhand, I'm gonna fuji or rake toward the eye. Okay, again, I'm going to pock, backhand, Buji raking toward the eye. The other hand is going to, I have choices. I can hack and I can, I can punch. I'm gonna hack right now. And right on this separation, as you can see, his arm is trapped. So right on that, I'm gonna take my right hand, drop my elbow and drop my palm right down on his first two index fingers. My left hand is gonna drop as well toward his elbow. I'm dropping my weight. I'm not trying to do it up here. I'm dropping my weight. So from that motion, I'm just gonna make a little step and swing my hand to my right as if I was doing a number four strike from the Filipino arts, okay? So if I had a knife, for instance, this would be a number four. That would be a number four strike. So what I'm gonna do with Tim that as I drop my body weight here, I'm gonna do a number four strike. Again, as I wedge, hit, drop my weight, secure that arm so he what? Cannot pull that hand out. And then all I'm gonna do is turn my body so he'll move. He's on his toes and I'm taking his power and his structure away. All right, one more time. So, Here's my backhand, wedge, hit, drop, secure, there's my lock. 
Now we can get into hitting and kicking and so forth and so on. But if I only need to put my finger lock on them to get a conversation out of them, that's all I need to do because right here in this position, he's screaming ah, and he's hollering, ah, okay, ah. which means he's in pain. All right, so that's number one. Number two, next one, I'm gonna do the same thing and just go straight and he's holding center line on that. Okay, again, as I'm going in, he's holding center line. Again, he's holding center line. As he holds center line, I'm gonna take my left foot, step out and take my palm and turn it to his palm. Again, so my hand is gonna go here as I step over here. So if I look at this angle here, I'm crossing him as if this is what? Maybe one o'clock, two o'clock, and I'm moving this way. All right, so when I take that step and I go straight, I'm gonna move over palm to palm. From palm to palm, I'm gonna take my fingers, drop right down on the base of his thumb. Base of his thumb, lock, keep his hand around my belly button. So this is as if I was doing a number three across his belly button, across his stomach. That would be a number three. Okay, again, that would be a number three. So as I turn my hand, I'm going to drop. I'm going to bring his hand across right at my belly button label, navel, and this elbow it's going to go in toward his body, which is going to make him turn around and sit in front of me. Okay, so here's the motion. I've, I am not taking him this way. I'm taking him that way. So here we go. There he is, right there. This is all I need. If we're in a fight, this is all I need right here. Okay, come to him. So as I go, there he is, right there. So here's his ankle. I think he's pretty secure right there. Okay? I'm securing. Okay? If I like him today, is okay. If not, I elbow him right here. You see it? Palm right on top of his nose. And push him backwards. All right? Come to him. One more time. As I go, there's my motion. I drop my body weight. Here's his elbow. So even if he comes out with his hand right here, as long as I'm driving his elbow in back of him, go Tim, it takes his hand away. The other part, the base of my knee is right in the spine of his back. So I can also pull down on both of his shoulders. Ah. It makes him go, ah. Okay, so you can see the position right here. I can put my right foot in turn as I rotate his wrist to put him on his stomach and look, talking about finger locks. Here we are again. That's a finger lock. All right, Tim. All right. All right, so here we go. Backhand, wedge, hit, drop. Again, if this is the fight, there's a knee, there's a kick in the groin. Set. This is straight. He just happened to hold center line. I drop my weight, I turn, there he is again. I can also shuffle my knee up to his spine. Mm. And this is what he gave me. Okay? Ah. Another way to look at this, you wanna come over here? As when I come straight, I'm gonna annoy Pock inside and take this hand away as well. Hit him again, what happens with this hand? His hand goes up to his face. All right, I take his hand, I slap it, and down to my other hand. There he is again, another lock. So my question, does finger lock work? Again, my hit, he's holding what? Center line. I noy park, I trap both hands. Okay, this is how I'm looking at this. I put it in my other hand, but they look to click to the groin, drop my body weight, fulcrum lever and bases right here. Ah. Ah. Kind of awkward, isn't it? Let's go. Here we go. Set. As he comes, there's my hit. There's my hit, Norpike hit. 
turn. There's my finger lock. There's my hit again. There's my control. Ah! We were talking street, right? All right. Just saying. All right. Set. He comes again in. Here's a little flow pattern I'm going to look at. I'm going to go here. See how I opened up? He came straight. I'm coming up toward his eye. As I come up to his eye, I open up into... Here's a little combination. One, two, three, four, five. Look what he's doing. I didn't tell him to open his hand. Here's the motion. Does finger locks work? Yes, sir. I don't know. You be the judge, okay? I've heard people say, ah, don't work. Or I'll never give you my fingers. That's another thing that's usually said. I'll never give you my fingers. And my thing is, don't. Because what we're doing is that he's jabbing, he's crossing, he's hooking. He's jab, he's crossing, he's, he's hooking. Am I understanding that I'm understanding how to cover? Didn't I just take that out of a fight? Look at my body. Fulcrum, lever, my uppercut's going to be the base. You see how he went in there? He's locked here. Okay? So if he's up here, he can't kick. He can't do anything. He's doing ballet right now. So when he goes up on his toes, I just lift. Do you see it? It has to make sense. Come, 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 come. Ah. There we are. Again. I'm just saying. Okay? Yep. Does it work? Does it work? <laughs> Does it work? Sad. Does it work? Does it? All right, come. Come. Does it work? You be the judge.